hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this video is about switching field particularly i'm talking about that if let's say you have done your masters or bachelors in a particular topic in a particular specialization and now you want to change that specialization during your phd or during your postdoc so how you can do that what are the challenges that you are going to face and first thing is that why exactly you should switch your field or when exactly you should think of switching your field okay uh, I'll be also talking about that uh, what are the things you need to take care of how you can convince during an interview or to the other person that switching field is important for you so we will be talking about all that in detail now I believe I am a correct person to talk about it because I myself have switched my field during my PhD uh, like I did my masters with an specialization in organic chemistry but my PhD was done in biophysical chemistry so those who are from chemistry they know that from the entire spectrum of chemistry organic chemistry is, is entirely different and biophysical chemistry is different so I switched from two different uh, field of chemistry then when I joined my first postdoc I did my postdoc in bio organic chemistry so although it was quite like uh, it was quite uh, overlapping field including bio thing but still I went back to certain things related to organic chemistry and in my second postdoc where currently I am I switched back to biophysical chemistry so I'll be telling you all these things how important it is to switch your field also how much extent of switching of this field is possible at a particular stage of your career so first of all let's understand that why switching field is important okay why switching field is important for you so I would not recommend every one of you to switch your field of course because if you are interested in a particular topic and if you are doing your research or doing your studies in a particular topic which is your topic of interest then well and good you don't need to switch your field but sometimes it happens that you joined a particular let's say it happens especially in the early stage of your career be it in masters or undergrads uh, where let's say you started studying a particular topic I'll take example of myself so I took organic chemistry as a topic or as a specialization because in my university uh, it used to be like the top 30 students in masters first year we don't used to have a semester wise system we used to have a yearly system back then so if in the first year you are under top 30 students you can take organic chemistry the next 30 that means the other 30 from 31 rank to 60 rank they can take inorganic chemistry from 61 to 90 they can take physical chemistry and rest of the others can take analytical chemistry so it was more like the toppers of the class they used to take organic chemistry and considering that that was a bad decision of my career I would say I took organic chemistry I would not say it was entirely bad because back then I used to like organic chemistry I used to understand organic chemistry and I liked uh, studying organic chemistry especially spectroscopy and uh, general organic chemistry then uh, pericyclic reactions all these topics used to excite me and I used to like it a lot so in my second year of masters I was introduced to topics like natural products terpenes terpenoids uh, then there were uh, like topics like uh, uh, like there were a lot of name reactions reagents which were of course there earlier also but slowly I started having less interest in these topics and uh, from there my interest got shifted a little bit so I would not say that these topics are not interesting but for me they it it didn't give me a lot of interest okay so when I had to choose for my research I somehow finished my masters but when I have to join research I had this in mind that definitely I'm not going to go for organic chemistry okay so that's where I decided that I need to switch my field same can be your case if you are in a particular field and uh, if right now you are studying a particular field which is not exciting you more but there is something else in which you are interested in for example for me spectroscopy was a part of chemistry or part of my syllabus which used to be my most favorite and I used to like a lot in my university there you, there was no research related uh, like project based uh, master's thesis so I was not having a lot of research in uh, like uh, experience but whatever theory knowledge I had I was more interested in uh, like in the physical chemistry and spectroscopy so I wanted to do my higher education especially my research in something related to spectroscopy and for that I switched my field okay so similar thing can be with you if you are interested in a certain thing 
uh, which is more interesting to you you can try to switch your field and i would highly recommend you if you are thinking of switching your field you can do that as early as possible because the earlier you will do the better it is going to be okay because at later stage of career you cannot do that let's say if you finished your phd with organic chemistry now you want to switch to physical chemistry it will be very difficult for you okay the more time you invest on a particular topic it is going to become difficult to switch from that okay so for me when i went for my interview it was difficult to convince the interviewers the interview panel that i want to switch my field the first question which they asked after intro in, after my introduction and all the other things is that what is my area of interest and when i told them spectroscopy uh, they were like why you don't want to continue with your organic chemistry because you had a specialization in organic chemistry why you want to go for uh, spectroscopy so there you can tell it very clearly okay you have to be very clear about this thing that why you want to switch for my case i clearly told them that when i started studying organic chemistry in my second year of masters i could not have much uh, interest in that it's not because of the subject or because of the teacher it was me who was not interested in that and probably this were certain topic like spectroscopy was something which i am more interested in so i want to uh, do research in related things so that I, something which I like I can spend more time on it I can be more creative in that field and I can come up with new ideas in that particular field which somehow convinced my interview panel and uh, they then asked questions related to spectroscopy they wanted to check whether I have good knowledge of the subject or not uh, once uh, they were convinced they took me and I did my uh, PhD in biophysics although my specialization was a spectroscopy i did my uh, like all my all of my research was based on different spectroscopic techniques including nmr uv ir uh, fluorescence all these spectroscopic techniques so we used all these to uh, exploit the different behavior of biophysical world similar thing can happen with you this is definitely going to happen that if you are planning to switch your field you are going to be asked that why you are doing that okay you have to come up with a very genuine and a very specific answer for that okay it might happen that like my in my case the interviewers were convinced with my response and they were happy to ask questions related to that in your case you they might ask you more questions about it so you should be ready with the questions you should be ready with a proper explanation of why you are planning to switch your field and then you should have a good idea of the new field in which you are going in you cannot just randomly say that i did my masters let's say in organic chemistry but now i want to go for physical chemistry as i said in my last video where i discussed about topic of interest and regarding interview i have made a video where i discussed that how you can tackle phd interview there i have explained you that you should have a specific topic during your phd interview right you have to tell them about a specific topic so uh, that specific topic if you are telling them you should be well aware of that topic if they will ask question you should be able to answer those questions and then only they are going to be convinced that yes if you are planning to switch your field you are uh, you have knowledge of that now let's talk about what are the importance of switching field of course first importance is that uh, since you are switching field that means in the in the older field or in the last field which you were stuck you don't have much interest in there so you are going in something or you are trying to pursue something which you are more interested in okay and uh, if you have more interest you can be more creative over there you can be more productive over there so that can give you better academic results as compared to something in which you are not much interested in if let's say i would have not switched my field and i would have continued doing organic chemistry probably either i would have not been a good research scientist in that time or i would not have come up with my own ideas during my research so probably by switching the field i was able to become more creative in my field i was able to uh, like design my own reactions at the last stage of my phd i was able to carry out my own uh, research projects and i was able to publish them in good research publications so this is something very important for you you should understand especially if you are planning to do phd that whether you are planning or whether you are thinking to switch your field or not and if you are planning to switch your field please do it at the stage of your phd because if let's say now after finishing my phd i want to switch my uh, field again it won't be easy for me i cannot go from biophysics to uh, organic synthesis because 
that is entirely difficult or that is entirely two different circles of a Venn diagram. There is no overlapping between them. I can switch field now also. If let's say I did my PhD from biophysics, I can go to biochemistry or I can go to bioinformatics. So I can go to something which has something overlapping now, but I cannot go to entirely different thing. So the later stage or I would say the earlier you switch your field, the more possibility of switching from a particular a type of chemistry or a particular type of research to a different entirely different type of research is possible. But as you grow, as you go ahead in your research career, the possibility of switching field from in two different uh, areas, two different research areas, it becomes entirely difficult. So if you are growing ahead in your research career and still you want to switch your field, you can even switch in that time also, but not entirely in two different areas, but some overlapping fields. So important point of this video is that if you want to switch your field, you can definitely do that. You have to be convincing during your interview. You have to convince the interviewer that why you are planning to switch your field. And if you are definite about switching your field, then try to do it as early as possible. Don't wait for longer time. And if there is something which you are doing right now and you are not liking it and if your interest falls in some other thing, it's better to switch and go to that particular field instead of getting stuck to something which you don't like doing. All right. So that's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any other question related to switching field, you can either ask me in the comment section below or you can ask me on my Instagram or on my LinkedIn profile. Links are there in the description of this video. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on LinkedIn. You can follow me on X and other social media platform. I will see you guys in the next video with a new topic, with a new thing to discuss. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.